It's Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're taking a look at the PackSafe Eco 25 liter anti-theft backpack, which I've been testing for two weeks. If you find this video helpful, click subscribe so we can keep making you content to help you travel smarter. Let's dive in. So the Eco line from PackSafe includes more than a dozen recycled components all around it. To begin with, we have the Econol Nylon, which is a recycled nylon all the way around here. It is water resistant with a non-PFC coating um, built in and it works really well. Got caught in the rain, just sort of runs right off. So that's really great. Um, you can also, you can hear it, it's a little noisy. But the nice thing is, is you can pretty much brush off all of my dog's hair, which is awesome, and cat's hair. Um, and dirt, same thing, it just brushes right off. It attracts, but then it brushes right off. Um, then this is the Canyon colorway. So we've got this like burnt orange with turquoise accents that you will see more turquoise as we get inside. There's also black and a granite gray colorway. They've all got the turquoise accents, but the other two colorways are a little more subtle, more subdued than this burnt orange. But hey, you know, if you're taking this hiking or whatnot, you're not gonna get lost. You know, your travel companions are not going to lose you in a crowd with this burnt orange. So there's that, that's kind of cool. The material itself contains the first of the PackSafe security components, which is ExoMesh Slash Guard. It's like two, um, I don't even know how to describe it exactly, but it's like two pieces of material and then they've got wire in, in between. So if somebody tries to come at your bag with a knife, it's gonna stop it. That's that's just how it works. So that's kind of cool. Obviously, I haven't put that to the test. You do not see big slash marks over this, but you can sort of feel it as you feel around the bag. There's a little bit of branding going on. We've got the PackSafe logo in this like reflective. You can see it's sort of reflective um, there. We've got PackSafe branding on like all of the locking mechanisms. There's a little turtle back here and a little water droplet. We'll get to that later. And there, that's the turtle there. There's the turtle on the zipper poles and the zippers themselves are YKK as well. And they've got these nice cords. And then we've got Wujin hardware and it all comes together really nicely in, in a bag that, that works really well. Taking a look at the harness system, we've got thinly padded shoulder straps and they do, I want you to see this before we get into the fit notes, they kind of, angle inwards so that does affect the comfort and you can see they are not very flexible okay so just keep that in mind for the next section what they do have is this nice breathable mesh that matches the back panel padding and an air channel so all of that combines to stave off sweaty back issues that's really great it's especially great if you're gonna take it hiking, which you can because you can swap out your laptop for a hydration bladder and feed it through this top part here. See the water droplet? And then there are these little elastic loops on the shoulder straps and this hardware here where you can feed through the tube to keep it into place as you go. The sternum strap is adjustable on a sliding rail and there is a strap keeper on this one side to keep the excess. The other side has this nice elastic to just sort of dial in the fit, get really nice and tight for you. There's also a hip belt, which is very thin, but it's also removable. If you don't need it either, you just don't feel you need it or you're like me and it doesn't hit you in the right spot, you can easily take it off. So that's really great. The shoulder, we've got a couple of uh, security features going on here. The shoulder straps have carry safe um, slash guard again, so nobody can cut it. And why would somebody be trying to cut your shoulder straps, you ask? Well, it's because there's also at the bottom of this one, a pop and lock where you can twist it and then squeeze it and pull it apart. So now you can wrap your 
strap around either a chair, table leg, other fixed objects, so it's just secure hanging out there while you don't worry about somebody stealing your bag. So this bright canyon colorway is really bright and fun and sort of stands out. But if you are not looking to stand out from the crowd, like I mentioned, we've got the black or the gray, which are more understated, might be able to fly under the radar in some uh, slightly dressier occasions. But this is an informal pack. You're going to take it to the park, the museum, exploring the new city, whatnot. Carry comfort sort of depends on your size. It is 20, nearly 20 inches long, and you can see it's almost hitting my tail. It's basically hitting my tailbone here, even with the sternum, you know, the straps dialed in, the sternum strap and everything. And also the hip belt, you can see because it's so long, it basically hits right on my hip bones and it's not really supporting anything. So, it's just, you know, I don't find it exactly uncomfortable, but it's not really helping to carry the load any. So depending on how you are built, you may find it's either more comfortable or less comfortable to carry for long times, long periods of time. All right, so taking a look around uh, this bag, we've got two really nice stretchy water bottle pockets on either side and they are so stretchy this stretchy mesh and then they have elastic at the top so you can accommodate a wide range of bottles i've got a wider one here but it holds just as nicely to uh, standard mouth bottles too which i really like because a lot of times it seems to me that if they do one right they don't do as well with the other and this one does well with both so that's really awesome I'm gonna pull that out so I can talk about one little thing I sort of forgot to mention earlier is we do have a daisy chain of attachment points that goes up into the carry handle. It's this shiny webbing. It's very satiny and soft and uh, satisfying to hold. And you can clip, I don't know, whatever you would like to clip there or it just hangs out and it's good. These larger loops at the bottom are really good. I find like for their sort of de facto handles if you wanted to pull it out from the side instead of the top. So that's really awesome. Now, we've got a sizable front pocket here. You can kind of see the outline and it is protected with this dock lock, which let me turn this so you can see. So what sort of drove me bonkers is that you have to use two hands to get into this. So you have to squeeze it and then you can unzip it. So I did not find myself using this section that much because I wanted it to be quick access. That's just what I wanted it to be. But you could always put, you know, a packable jacket or put anything in there and then you, you know it will not accidentally come out. It will be protected. And if you're in a crowded situation, definitely nobody is getting into this without you feeling them pulling at it. So that's really awesome. Then the next uh, pocket is protected by this other locking me mechanism called Rubar Sport, which I like because Yes, it's very secure and you can see nobody's getting into either compartment of your bag. But what I really like is that if you're not in a situation that calls for extra locks, it gets out of the way. So it's a bit of a hassle to lock and unlock, but you just don't do it all the time. So you push this tab up, you slide this bar over, and then you see all of these zippers can come out. So these cords on the zippers that I like for regular use do get a little annoying to slide into and fit into that rhubarb sport lock, but you're not going to be doing that all the time. And if you are, you're going to be grateful that you have the added protection. So it probably won't bother you too much. Oh, and before I move on with that rhubarb sport, you can see there's this extra hole here at the end. So you can also add a padlock for real tons of added security if you really feel the situation warrants it. Now into this admin panel. It's got the bright turquoise lining, ripstop nylon, so it's nice and sturdy. We've got KCC zippers here for the inside, which work really well. And there's this zipper pocket where I've just got some, you know, uh, a hairbrush and whatnot. But there's also a key leash. It's very long, 
but it's a great place. At least you will know where to find them when you need them. So that's awesome. You can zip that back up. And we've just got a, a wide slip pocket and a pen pocket. You know, put whatever, whatever you like to store in here. And then just added space that protrudes out instead of blocking the main compartment so you don't have any problems with access. So to get into the main compartment, it is this back zipper that, as I mentioned, you can lock into the locking mechanism, but we don't have that locked again. We're going to open it. It runs from bottle pocket all the way around to bottle pocket. So you have a fairly large opening and you can see I've got quite a few packing cubes stacked in here. We've got one, two, and a third large packing cube. So you can fit quite a bit in this 25 liter bag. It'd be great, you know, if you wanna have a personal item bag and just sort of go ultra minimalist to fly, you can pack it and then unpack it and have your day pack for your trip when you arrive, which I think is a really cool thing to have. Then at the top here, we've got the PackSafe logo and this pocket is RFID protected, so it's a great place for your wallet, passport, anything you want protected from digital theft. And it just kind of hangs out here, which is good and bad. So you flip it up and you're gonna see this uh, hook and loop fastener. And if I had a water bladder, you could sort of slide that through and close it up and then it holds the water bladder in place. And obviously you would not have your laptop in here. You would put the water bladder in that same pouch and it would slide up because then it could go through. You see my finger, follow the finger. It goes through this little hole at the top of the pocket and then out the back. And that's how you slide through the hydration tube. So that's this pack sort of works double duty as you know everyday carry and hiking backpack, which is cool um, if that is something you're looking for. But if you're not using a hydration bladder, you can see you can slide your laptop in there. There's a little bit of a false bottom and obviously the back panel is padded, but there's no padding on the front. So just be careful what you're putting in front of your laptop so that you don't have an issue getting it. And then the only other thing really to mention is, see, like I said, you can, you can see the bottom. I've got another pouch down there, but um, that front pocket does not really protrude into the main compartment. And you've got these nice fabric gussets sort of holding everything together, but you can see quite a bit into here, which is great. Um, but, for every day, I didn't love this hanging pocket just because I always had to flip it up to get my laptop. Maybe it wouldn't bother you so much, you know, with the hydration bladder, and maybe it wouldn't bother you so much with a larger laptop. Although I think if anything, it would bother you more with a larger laptop. It's just, it's just something to mention, you know, what's good for the goose is not always good for the gander. And what I think is annoying, you might not think is annoying. So, just something to mention that there's a reason they have it like that, but it can get in your way. Otherwise, this does work as a pretty good, you know, everyday and travel backpack, you know, for lightweight things, light, light trips, short trips might be the one for you. So there you have it. The PackSafe Eco 25 liter anti-theft backpack. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.